Hi folks, hope you're doing well today. Have you ever heard the tale of the five Buddhist monks from Kabul who went to Japan to spread the teachings of Buddha? It's not a story that the American school books will ever tell you. So Buddhism is a religion of Indo-Aryan origins, but when it was exported to different parts of Asia, it established a syncretic relationship with the pre-existing religions and folk beliefs of the people who adopted it. For example, in China, it developed a syncretic relationship with Taoism and Confucianism. In Korea, it developed a syncretic relationship with Confucianism and the shamanistic folk religion of Mugyo. The Korean pagan tradition. But when it comes to the origins of Buddhism in Japan, there are two different versions of history. The first one is the one that I've presented, that it was five monks from the Kabul region of Gandhara, which up until 200 years ago would have been Eastern Iran or Khorasan, who introduced it to the archipelago for the first time and that's also what the Chinese source, the Book of Liang, says. But the problem is that it was written almost 200 years after the fact. But that's not that big of a deal. The author of the documents, Yao Salan, could have gotten a hold of this information through the Imperial Archives or something like that. The Chinese called Japan Fusang in that period of time. Just be mindful of that as I'm going to read an excerpt from the source now. So it says, Fusang is located to the east of China. In former times, the people of Fusang knew nothing of the Buddhist religion. But in the second year of Deming of the Song Dynasty, 467, five monks from Kapin, Kapin meaning the Kabul region of Gandhara, that's what it was referred to in Chinese sources, traveled by ship to Fusang. They propagated Buddhist doctrine, circulated scriptures and drawings, and advised the people to relinquish worldly attachments. As a result, the customs of Fusang changed from the monk Hui Shen, 7th century, end quote. So that's very interesting. Not only did Iranian monks from the Khorasan region bring Buddhism into Japan, the Mahayana sect of Buddhism into Japan, but the rulers of Japan adopted it right away. And this occasion occurred during the Kofun period, which was from 250 to 538. This account is totally different from the mainstream account of how Buddhism came to Japan, which is during the Ahsoka period from 538 to 710 via Korea. The second version of history, which originates from a Japanese chronicle known as the Nihon Shoki, says that Buddhism was officially introduced in Japan in 552, roughly 85 years after the monks from Kabul came. When the Korean Baekje Emperor Seong sent a bunch of monks and nuns to the court of the Japanese emperor of the time, Qinmei, to present him with an image of the Buddha and some sutras, some religious texts, and that's when it all began. Here's the thing, though. The monk who introduced Mahayana Buddhism into that part of Korea, the western part of the peninsula, was a guy named Marananta, who was also from Gandhara, like the Kabul monks were, and the Mahayana Buddhist sect took sheep in a region in South Central Asia, part of cultural Iran and India, known as Gandhara. Not to be confused with the Pashtun city of Gandhar. The Mahayana school is the most popular and predominant school in the entire Buddhist community, so even if the second version of history holds more water than the first one, it makes no difference at the end of the day. The spread of the faith got off to a really low really slow start in Japan. The masses weren't receptive to it at first, but eventually the process of spreading the faith crystallizes during the reign of Empress Suiko, and the rest is history. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.